and I've been married for seven years. It's Ginger, that Ginger right over there. Lately, um, in the bathroom, I have been asking him to kill a lot of spiders. So, um, I don't really think the spiders know what they're getting into. Um, they're just a couple of middle-aged nudes. <laughs> you got me getting over a cold, and I'm like neti potting the heck out of my nose. I'm just like, everything is banana pudding. <laughs> and then you got Peter. <laughs> Peter powdering his huevos ranchos. <laughs> into a jungle. So, um, so, uh, so these spiders, I just, you know, like, they're not used to this. We're, like, okay with it. Like, we've come to terms with, you know, the steady decline of our bodies. Uh, we've completed the cooler Ross stage of grief. But <laughs> this scene is a little jarring for the spiders. Um, they, um, they just wanted to come in from out of the cold. Uh, and then they see us, and it's like no nature they've ever seen before. <laughs> You've got me with my, you know, fluorescent mustard snot, and you know, <laughs> the old powdered donuts under there. <laughs> well, it just ain't natural. <laughs> they, I think they think they stumble onto some kind of Chernobyl-esque hellscape. <laughs> And they're kind of losing faith in humanity at this point. And um, so I feel like if I don't have Peter come kill them first, that they're going to kill themselves. <laughs> <laughs> so then um, they're just, you know, there they'd be just hanging. They're just uh, around the shower, you know, uh, the shower head. Just like little tiny spider corpses. I'm hanging out with little tiny spider nooses. <laughs> so, but like when I ask it, it's not like, excuse me, sir, could you kindly remove this eight-legged creature from my sight? It's not so much Downton Abbey. It's more like, oh my God, Peter, get a blowtorch. <laughs> Just kidding. We don't have a blowtorch. <laughs> liquid fire in the bathroom after we eat at Chipotle. <laughs> so um, I'm also a teacher and I'm part of a union and we just went on strike. Woo! And we won. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, we worked so hard for that and we deserved it and finally now I can get a little drunk and go crazy at the Lincoln City outlets. <laughs> But we earned it. We, uh, we walked eight days. We walked on the strike line. I ate so many bagels. <laughs> Turns out bagels are the perfect fuel for my fiery rage. <laughs> the rumor was, though, that our superintendent didn't think that we'd last past a week on the strike line. Well, he didn't understand my commitment to bagels. <laughs> Especially with uh, roasted garlic cream cheese schmear. <laughs> it, it also turns out that uh, different bagels have different powers. So like um, the jalapeno cheddar bagels uh, get you moving on the strike line, kind of like that messy Little Caesars sign weaver guy. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, the Parmesan ones help you channel your inner Tony Soprano. So when, like, you know, negotiations need a little push. <laughs> and then uh, I did always skip the strawberry ones because they have no special powers except for tasting disgusting. <laughs> we also we had some online haters during this process, and uh, they called us greedy pigs. Let's deconstruct that. <laughs> greedy pigs. So, if it's greedy that I want to pay off my student loans and buy school supplies, 
then buy me a yacht and call me the Wall Street Wolf. <laughs> Is it really that much to ask to have teachers that can like have some critical thinking skills um, to be able to afford them? I think um, you know that could be the only way that we avoid the Walmart takeover of our education system. And be like, okay, boys and girls. Um, over on aisle three, we've got a roll back on math textbooks, and later music will be with our new principal, Mr. Kid Rock. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> and then pigs. No, uh, unless they're saying that we both produce something that benefits every American, intelligent citizens, and bacon. <laughs> So, you know, the whole thing just made, it was really empowering. So now I get up in the morning and I drink old white by tears. And I, and I smear my bagel with the last dregs of the patriarchy. And then I can afford a little bacon.